What's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about my most anticipated TV series of 2017. Now I'm going to focus on new shows, shows that have not come out yet. I could spend a lot of time talking about all the shows I'm excited that are coming back, but I'm going to talk about new shows today. Let's get started first with a show called Taboo. Now this show looks really interesting to me. Um, the show stars Tom Hardy, who also co-created the show. And it's a look, it looks like a really dark, very intriguing show. It looks very Tom Hardy-esque to say the least. So I don't know a whole lot about it. I've been trying to avoid most of the previews. Once I know I want to watch something, I try to avoid most of the previews, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. That starts in January on FX. All right, next up, I'm going to be breaking my rule a little bit here, but this is the only time I'm doing it. It's just for this one show, right? I want to talk about Twin Peaks. So this obviously is a return for Twin Peaks, but it's been about 25 years or so. So I don't think it really counts. I think I can put this on my list. I'm sure it'll be very different. I'm so excited about this. If you guys haven't seen Twin Peaks, if some of my younger audience out there maybe hasn't caught Twin Peaks, season one is one of the best seasons of television out there ever, especially for its time. No one was doing anything like that. Season two got a little bit messy and it had some problems, but there's a lot of reasons for that. If you guys look into that, there's a lot of information out there. But I'm so excited to see David Lynch back behind the camera for Twin Peaks. Can't wait to see it. The show comes back on Showtime in April. The next show up is called American Gods. Now this is not the most interesting looking show to me, to be honest with you, but Brian Fuller is involved with it. It looks very Brian Fuller-esque as far as visuals go, which makes it interesting to me. If you guys all know who Brian Fuller is, he was the writer creator of Hannibal, which is one of my favorite uh, TV series of all time. Now the show might be a little bit too weird for me. It looks kind of strange, but I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. I'm not sure about the premiere date yet, but I think it's coming out around May and it comes on stars. The next show on the list is called Big Little Lies. This is a really interesting looking show. Not my favorite type of show. It looks a little bit like a uh, somewhat melodramatic Beverly Hills type of thing. But at the same time, it's got a lot of depth behind the trailer that I saw and it looks intriguing. The show has a really solid cast behind it. Definitely look into it. It starts in February on HBO. Next up is a show called Mind Hunters. I don't know a whole lot about this series other than it's gonna be on Netflix and David Fincher's behind it, so I'm good. Uh, it's basically like a cop murder mystery type of show. And again, David Fincher is behind it. If he's gonna be directing, I'm all in. Everything he does is great. So I can't wait to see what it is. Another show I'm looking forward to on Netflix is called Godless. Now, I don't know a lot about this show. I couldn't find a ton of information about it, but it's got such a good cast that I'm interested. It's got Jack O'Connell, which if you don't know that guy, he's a great young actor. If you haven't seen the movie Starred Up, you need to see that right away. It's one of the best movies of 2015. Such a great film. The show also stars Jeff Daniels and Scoot McNary, a really great cast all the way around and it starts sometime next year on Netflix. Next up is a show called Room 104. Now, I don't know much about this show either, right? Most of these shows, I try not to look too much into. Once I know who's involved, who's creating it, who's in the shows, that kind of does it for me. This show is a great example of that, right? This is written and directed by the Duplass brothers. Uh, everything they do is really solid stuff. They got a lot of films out there. None of them are bad. There's a bunch of them that are like pretty good. A lot of these kind of mumblecore style movies, but they're all good. And they have some other stuff that's great. Like the last show they did was Togetherness. I love Togetherness. I thought that was a great, great show. This show starts sometime next year on HBO. So when you got the Duplass brothers together and you got HBO, that gets me excited. The next new series I'm excited about for next year is called Barry. Now this show I'm excited about for one main reason is that it stars Bill Hader. So I love Bill Hader. I think he's incredibly funny. One of the best people on SNL over the last 10 or 15 years. He's also co-creator and amazingly funny in the Documentary Now series, which if you have not seen that, you have got to go check out Documentary Now. It's hilarious stuff. Now this series, Barry, starts in HBO next year. And again, to me, you got Bill Hader and HBO. That's a hell of a combination. Definitely excited about that one. The last series on my list is called Ozark. Now I'm really excited about this one because it's directed by and stars Jason Bateman. I really like Jason Bateman's work. Obviously he's an incredibly funny person. I actually think he's a pretty talented dramatic actor as well. So it'll be interesting to see what this show's all about. I think it's kind of like a dramedy. I also think he's got a really talented eye behind the camera. He directed a film last year called Bad Words. that actually was a pretty good film and, and pretty well directed. Now this show Ozark starts next year on Netflix. So again, for me, you got Jason Bateman and you've got Netflix together, that's a great combination. All right, so that wraps up my list of the most anticipated 2017 new shows. I'm really excited to see all of these. I'm sure there'll be 20 more new shows 
that I get excited about over time that I start hearing about a lot of the stuff how he hasn't been announced yet. And you can see the main criteria I have for this kind of stuff is what network is it on and who's behind it. That makes a world of difference. Typically channels like HBO and Showtime and Netflix, they don't put out too much bad stuff, especially if they've got talented people behind them, you know you're in for something good. Now, obviously Netflix puts out a lot more shows than anybody else and a lot of the recent ones have been pretty bad, but you can tell that from the get-go. You can tell from who's behind it, who's starring in it. They're probably not gonna be very good shows. These are different, right? These shows, if you've got David Fincher or Jason Bateman doing a Netflix show, I can almost guarantee it's gonna be a pretty good show. Definitely let me know what shows you guys are excited about for next year. I can't wait to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments section and I'll see you guys at the next Culture Critic.